So um, we're just going to go through a couple more examples of these relationships because they are, are a bit tricky and we're going to do one thing that we didn't do last time where we're actually going to calculate what the constant of proportionality is. So first up let's take a look at this question. Again it's an old exam question reasonably common thing you might encounter in the real world you've got some variable and you know some relationship from it and immediately as we read the question some um, some keywords should sh start to pop out so the number of operations the robot can perform on a single battery charge is inversely proportional to the force required for each operation write an expression for this relationship um, so what that means is that in tote is inversely proportional, so proportional to 1 over f of c. That's all that means. Now, usually we would go and put in a constant of proportionality, but we've got this second note here, which says, until testing is confirmed, the constant of proportionality is unknown, so should not be included. All that means is that we can leave our answer like this. So let's jump on to the next question and see where that goes. After initial testing, so the testing has now been done, um, we know a few other bits and pieces um, that can help us with this. So after initial testing, the robot chopping carrot with a knife on a board using a force of 10 newtons can perform 20,000 operations prior to its batteries needing to be changed. Write an updated equation from A, including a constant proportionality. So we had previously um, number of chops is proportional to 1 over the um, 1 over the yeah 1 over that uh, and what we want to do is go from this to a specific form so doing that is pretty simple so we go in sorry that was in tote um, in tote is now equal to k uh, over fc um, and that's just because I've multi multiplied, uh, I've put a constant proportionality in there and multiplied it across. That is not finished, however, because it's not asking me for a general constant of proportionality, it is asking me to calculate specifically what that is. And because of this part of the question here, the bit that I've just covered over with my pen, um, we can calculate it. So if we rearrange this, I can write that K, our constant of proportionality, is simply N tot times F times FC, which is going to be 10 newtons times 20,000 operations, which is going to be 200,000. So I can rewrite this equation here, N tot equals 20, sorry, 200,000 divided by FC. Now we've gone from a general relationship to a general equation to a specific equation. That's the kind of thing that you should be able to do if you're given enough information or if you go out into the field and actually do some experiments to find some of these bits of information out. So the final kind of question you might get is sketch an ideal relationship between this. So there's a few different ways of answering this problem. So it's asking you to sketch a relationship. This is very similar to some of the um, ones I gave you previously, but sketch an ideal graph of variable y versus x. Okay. So here is x, here is y, so we've done that bit, when y is inversely proportional to x, labelling all important aspects. So in this case, as we did previously, if y is inversely proportional to x, the bigger x is, the smaller y is, and just from doing this a number of times, I know that the relationship is going to be like that. Now, if we didn't have this bit here, an alternate way to draw this, but a correct way, would be to draw another graph y versus 1 over x and then a straight line these two tell us exactly the same information this one here i think is much clearer because the straight line indicates this relationship this proportional to the inverse clearly whereas this is not so clear 